This is Dr. Lewis Blevins of Pituitary World News. Today I'm showing you a video of a normal appearing pituitary gland. This is a sagittal section. It's actually a mid-sagittal section, so this splits the head in half <coughs> from side to side. It's just like going straight from the middle of your forehead to the middle of the back of your head and slicing downwards. And the reason we call this a mid-sagittal section is it's right through the center of the brain. This is the cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius. It's a pipe in the brain that carries spinal fluid from the lateral ventricles where it's made down through the third ventricle through what's called the foramen of Monroe into the third ventricle, cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius, and then the fourth ventricle here. This is the cerebrum, the main part of the brain frontal occipital part. This is the cerebellum. This is the brain stem. This part is the pons. This part's the medulla. This is the clivus. It's the base of what's called the sphenoid bone. And here is your sphenoid sinus, the inner contents of the nose, the back of the throat, the tongue, this would be the soft palate, so this is the back of the throat, that's technically the back of the nose. And the mid-sagittal is one of the best ways to find the pituitary gland because you find the mid-sagittal section, sphenoid sinus, and the pituitary is right here. This is a post-contrast image, and I know that because I see evidence of blood in some of the blood vessels, but also the pituitary has enhanced as well. And this is typical. This little rounded area here is the cella tersica where the pituitary sits, here's the gland. This is the pituitary stalk. I'll show you on another image, it shows up a little better. And this is some of the visual pathways. This area here is the hypothalamus. So let's go side to side. Here's a better image showing the pituitary stalk or the infundibulum. This part that's swollen at the top is called the median eminence. And the pituitary stalk is composed of nerve fibers that go from the hypothalamus to the back part of the pituitary. It's also uh, com composed of blood vessels, a portal venous system, and probably some arteries as well that uh, carry blood from the hypothalamus to the pituitary so that the anterior pituitary hormones can be delivered. Uh, so the hypothalamic hormones can be delivered in the anterior pituitary is what I mean to say. And this is slicing from side to side. There's the gland. Gland again. Total normal appearing pituitary. You can see that even in normal pituitary shows very varying levels of enhancement. And this scan was done where the lateral wings of the pituitary, which is, this is the side wing of the pituitary. It's not quite as bright as the central part. And most of the blood supply comes down through the center of the gland and then spreads out to the sides. That's a normal appearing gland. The cella tersica is of normal size and the gland is of normal size as well. Now going to show you the coronal views. And this is basically slicing back through here. Sphenoid sinus, carotid siphon, the two holes on either side. I've talked about that before. Back of the nose and the throat. Here's the pituitary. We find the pituitary in these coronal views, which are slicing through the, through the head from front to back. We find the pituitary by finding the carotid siphon and the gland should be there in the middle. And you see here it's sort of a rectangular ovoid type shaped gland. This is typical, this is normal. You can see here the little bit of the center stripe of the pituitary where the blood comes through here, the lateral wings of the gland. Here's the pituitary stalk straight down the middle, which is what we like to see. 
This is just the median eminence. See the visual pathways here. Follow those through as I slice back through. There's the optic chiasm, visual pathways. Everything looks entirely normal on these images. So normal gland, maybe one and a half to, maybe two, two and a half, one and a half times longer than it is high. Sometimes it looks like a rectangle, sometimes it looks like a V. Other times it's ovoid, like this one. Lots of different normal variations, and we'll try to show you some of those normal variations throughout time. Uh, in this series of uh, pituitary radiology. Some other things here in the brain, these are the lateral ventricles. I'll slice through those a bit. That's where spinal fluid is made. This is the third ventricle, and in the walls of the third ventricle is the hypothalamus. The black here is skull. Spinal fluid is the gray here. This is spinal fluid as well. All right, that's enough for this MRI. Dr. Lewis Blevins, Pituitary World News, demonstrating a normal appearing pituitary gland.